Every puzzle has an answer. What's up everyone? Um, it's puzzle time because it's Tuesday. Well, I hope it's Tuesday. If it's not Tuesday, then I'm doing Professor Layton on the wrong day. And you can't stop me. Hello, chap. How you doing, Matt? How is life? How is... Life. I'm hella excited for tomorrow. Um... Where myself, Mr. Rothy, aka Matt, will be playing A Way Out. I always want to say it takes two because it's what we've played recently. Or not my, myself and you, but me and George played recently. Um, so I, every time I think about it, I want to say it takes two, but it's not. It's A Way Out. Um, <coughs> doing good, man. Excited for tomorrow's what? Yeah! 7pm um, start, so it's an hour earlier for me. But um, I do nothing with my days so far. Um, so it's no, it's no change for me. <coughs> Gonna show people how re how how you really do card games. Yeah, we cooperate, we get shit done. Um, there won't be any fighting like me and George had. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. <coughs> so yeah. Um. I don't know whether you wanted to do like a Anno co-op on stream or off stream or anything. I'm not sure whether George will get the game. Um, every time I bring it up, it's it doesn't seem like he's invested for one to get it. But I don't think it's his like forte of a game because it's very strategic, micromanaging. It's not. There is a good storyline within some of the DLCs. I don't know about the actual tutorial uh, storyline, but um, he could have fun. But who knows? Anyway, what's happened with so far in Professor Layton, you may ask? Well, at Emmy and Luke's urging, Layton is recounting his past experiences with the Mask of Chaos. Herschel finds his father stood by the edge of the forest by forest in Stansbury and the two of them return home so we have to go find Leighton's dad because he went off with his friends yeah I don't know if it's kind of his kind of thing to be honest I'll be down for giving it a go next week or something though for sure <coughs> yeah just let me know because like at the moment I'm doing single player anno uh, I think I'm going to try and do it every other Thursday um, and then on the other in between Thursdays, do something else, maybe a different sort of simulation or strategy game. But I'd be up for giving co-op because I've never done like a multiplayer uh, Anno game, so I'm not sure how it would go or how it sort of works. 
So it'd be interesting. Um, I forgot these are weird controls. Um, but yeah. <coughs> but I reckon it takes, no, not it takes two, see. Um, a way out will probably take two, three streams, depending on how long we go for on each stream. Um, assuming that the game's roughly sort of similar length to It Takes Two, because it's the same developer. So who knows? It's nice to be in my own room again. I can finally read that book. But then I'd have to stop mid-chapter or something. I, I hate having to stop. But what else could I do? Hum, hum, tee dum, hmm. Randall seems really eyed up today, more than usual. I'm used to his crazy treasure hunt talk, but he's never been so cocksure before. Maybe he's really found something. Maybe he has found something, guys. Who are we to know? Because <coughs> um, we are in the Professor Lane games that I've never played before. Um, I played all the DS versions. We're on 3DS now. So it's uh, new territory for me. Come to think of it, weren't he and Dalston arguing over some old indecipherable map the other day? Wow. I'm actually feeling quite curious. Randall must be getting through to me. Worrying thought. Still, imagine if we really did discover an ancient artifact. That would be terrific. Herschel. Herschel. Dinner's ready. What? Already? That was quick. Oh yeah, big update in my life. Um, I got uh, my desk tray yesterday, which is why I'm swiveling a bit more than normal. Um, good old Ike Ikea classic chair. Um, so, bloody Randall, what's he like? Eh? Yeah, exactly, Randall. You can never know what he's going to do. How's school, son? Anything exciting happen? Not really, just the usual. Well... Now you mentioned, I lost a fen I lost a fencing bout. Bout is such a strange word to me. To Randall. We lost fencing to Randall. What's the score now then? Have they decided which one you'll be going to... Have they decided which one of you will be going to the next tournament? I read that and my mind just stopped. I'm not going to let Randall beat me, Ma. I just need a bit more time to practice. Oh fuck yeah! I keep special. Yeah, the the chair that um, like the my room came with, was so bad. It's what you'd probably like find in a classroom. So, it was doing my back in as well as my ass. So, this one comfy though, and it's sort of like, it's the back is designed to help your posture. So, I'm loving it. That's the spirit. How about some put it? Pudding to strengthen you up, then. Oh, no thanks, Ma. You sure, son? There might not be any left after our... I've been at it. No, no, I told Randall I'd meet him after dinner. Is that okay? Now, isn't it a bit late to be going out? Don't worry, Ma. We're just going to sit around in Randall's room and talk. Hmm, don't stay out too late, will you? Ah, is it one of those with, like, the mesh back? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a mesh backing. Um, yeah, it's, it's more of an office chair than a, what people would class as a gaming chair. Oh, and thanks, Mark. See you later. Um, so I'm loving it. Our oh, Ma has got a puzzle. Hello, dear. Weren't you going out? I am, but I just realised I left something behind. Really? You'd forget your hair if it wasn't gelled on? But since you're here, would you have a look at this apron for me? Hey man, if it's comfy, it doesn't matter what it is. Exactly. I chose it so it's comfy and it wouldn't kill my back. Um, the only issue is my room, I'm not convinced that like the floor is flat. So... I think there's a slight slant, so my chair goes back. 
Um, how are you doing, Tessa? Tessa? I've got to think of how to pronounce it. It's been such a long time. I'm assuming it's the same Tessa from uh, ESO and all that. So yeah, thank you for the follow two days ago, by the way. I wasn't streaming. So yeah, I hope you're all right. Um, I wonder if you can solve this riddle. I folded up my dear old apron in three different ways. It makes the flower pattern look different each time, see? All you have to do is tell me the, what the pattern will look like when I unfold the apron. Look at the images A, B and C above and put the flowers on the apron. So yeah, I do plan to come back to ESO. Um, I just haven't been bothered to actually boot my PlayStation up at all. So yeah, and uh, I don't know what I would be doing not on ESO to be honest. I'm not even sure if I'm in any guild still, because um, what I'd probably want to do is like more dungeon stuff. It's basically the co-op stuff instead of the solo. I might stream it once I get a new monitor that can actually capture uh, my PlayStation and go through like the main storyline and that. But they probably added a load of stuff into it since I've been gone. And I need to go visit all your sort of houses you've done up. Depending on how many are still still alive and you haven't dismantled. So yeah, there's a lot to do. I just haven't been bothered to go back. That's the real thing. So yeah, but it's good to see you still doing it. Um, we need to figure out the pattern. Um... Oh, I reckon there's three like that, and then maybe two further apart. Because then, if it's folded in half, that would be B. Um, if she. How would she? How would she manage to get? If she? No, that's not that. That's a terrible line. Um, if she folded in half, that would be C. And then if she did a corner, so she folded it into that, that would be A. So I reckon that. How you doing, Shadow? I think this may be it. Success. Puzzles can be quite uh, nice. Well, let me know when you do, though. I only, I only did housing for a while, so I could use a, use a friend to do all the new stuff as well. Yeah, I would definitely probably need carrying, to be honest. Um, like, I've still got all my characters, but, like, I'm assuming with all the new updates, sets and gear... Abilities don't change too much, but all the sets and gear are probably well outdated for me. Um, yeah, I'll definitely message you about it. I'm pretty sure I'm still on... Yeah, I'm still in the housing Discord group. Um, that's where I'm most active socially, because I don't use Facebook anymore. Um, doing alright, how are you? I'm good, thanks Shadow. Hope you've had a good day. Um, I've been liking your streams lately. And I hope Pokemon's going well for you. Um, you've noticed, yeah. Like, normally, because of how early you stream in my time, I'm normally doing something, or I'm just sort of getting, getting up sometimes, to be honest. So I'm like, I'll, ju I'll just leave a lurk and keep an eye on him. I see, you've got my favourite Pokemon, I think, in your team, if I remember correctly, which is Gardevoir, which is my, like, favourite. Um, uh, it's okay, but already. No. Well, now that you see your friend around with a uh, penchant for puzzles, we got another puzzle from there. Yeah, you like Glalade, personally, but, you know, it's Gen 3. Yeah, both of them are pretty good. It's just what they, like, specialise when they go different directions. Um, so, yeah. Four golfers named Mr. Black, Mr. White, Mr. Brown, and Mr. Blue were competing in a tournament. The caddy didn't know who was who. 
So she asked three or four. One of them, Mr. Brown, told her a lie. Oh, so we're dealing with a liar. Yeah, like, I know we... Ages ago, Shadow, we... I mentioned about doing um, one of the Zeldas, A Link to the Past, like Randomizer. Um, we still need... I still need to... Um, <coughs> we still need to probably sort that out. But if you want to do a Pokemon randomizer or any sort of Pokemon game online together, I'd, ha I'd be up for that. Um, yes, all the old set sucks. And the CP trees changes... Oh, no. I, I had trouble with... Um, Good CP trees, any like the CP stuff on ESO. Anyway, uh, we've got to go now. Talk to you later and keep you keep up streaming. Already watched some on YouTube. Nice. Well, I, I always keep up with um, like the videos you put on YouTube, for, like the housing and visiting out of the people's housing. So keep that up. And it's nice to have talked to you again, Tessa. Uh, yeah, absolutely love Pokemon Randos. Yeah, like I'd love to be able to do. Um, Pokemon Nuzlocke, Sleeplocke, um, I think it's Soul Link or Soul Bound or something where we play through together but our Pokemon are like linked in pairs and they would die. If one dies, the other dies or whatever. Um, but I'd, it'd be great to be doing some of those. Um, obviously we wouldn't go for the hardcore setting straight away. But it'd be nice just to sort of uh, do some randos or something. No idea how to do stuff like that. No, yeah, we'd, we'd have to figure it out, but it'd be it'd be good just to get some sort of uh, games, because uh, I'm not sure whether Matt or George would want to do Pokemon games or randomised games, because it would be all through emulator stuff. Um, and, like, just sort of modding Stardew can be a challenge. So uh, I'm not sure whether they'd like the idea of uh, emulator stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, some emulators, like the one I'm using, very simple. If the game works, it'll work it. Um, but as soon as it's Pokemon, it's a bit iffy sometimes from what i found. Anyway, we need to figure out who is Mr. Blue. One of these is a lie. Mr. Brown told her a lie. See, Mr. White, that's D. Okay, so if, if we say he's Mr. White, B, he's not Mr. Blue. Um, Mr. Brown told her a lie. One of these is lying, unless Mr. Brown. No, Mr. Brown can't be taking the shot. So it's got to be... Um, if we get rid of that, Mr. Brown cannot be B. Because if he's lying, which would mean he is Mr. Blue. Um, so I don't think it's this one, but I don't know who. If A is lying, <coughs> I reckon A's telling the truth. Which, if that means if C is lying, that's not white. That's a terrible... That's a B, guys. That's definitely a B. Um, at this point, I'm my head is, like, just confused. I think it's D. Just for no reason at all at this point. Sweet. Um, I don't know how much Pokemon you've played. I've personally played all the way up to Sword and Shield. Um, I've done... So, I start... My first ever one was Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald. 
and then I went backwards for fire red leaf green. I think I played yellow, but I can't remember anything of like yellow. Um, I did diamond pearl and platinum, which is the next generation from ruby sapphire. Um, what's after that? I played black white. I'm just saying all the names from the <laughs> um, generation. I did do did play black and white two. I played the remakes of Sapphire and Ruby. I didn't do the... Is it Aloha? Um, area? Generation? I don't know what they're called. Um, like the Hawaii version. The Hawaii game. Sun and Moon. I didn't play Sun and Moon. Um, I haven't done Sword and Shield, but... Didn't George play them? If so, I watched him play them. Um, and I didn't. I haven't played Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu, but they have remix anyway. So I haven't, I haven't done Sword and Shield, but I've done majority, basically anything up to like Gen 5 or 6, I think it is. Definitely Gen 5 I've done. Oh, I told you, I don't even like puzzles that much. <gasps> Leighton said he doesn't like puzzles. Oh, hogwash. You like puzzles, alright? You're my son. He was like forced into the puzzle business. It, well, it's not really a business, but. <laughs> um, go to Randall's house, which is where? Okay, that's that's our house. Does anyone know where Randall lives? Let's talk to this dude. He might know where Randall lives. Herschel boy, what are you doing at this at this time? Hello, Uncle Dog. I'm just going round to Randall's house. Oh, what is it your is and uh, what is the young sir plotting this time? You keep an eye on him, won't you? If anything happens to that boy, his father will have the whole country. County? I really can't read today. Country has an R in it. County up in arms. Whew. Oh, and I haven't played X and Y. That's the other one. I got into a competitive Pokemon back during X and Y. I'd go to local anime gaming conventions. Some would have Pokemon tournaments kind of thing, like uh, go find the gym leader and then challenge the Elite Four. You won one of those? Wow. I'll take that with me to the grave. Nice. They've got to be really hard to win, surely, because that like loads of people would do it. But yeah, GG on that. That didn't stop Mr. Ascot sending you home last time. Try not to antagonise the man, Herschel. He won't even know I'm there. See you tomorrow. Okay, so... For one, I don't know where Randall lives. I'm assuming it's up. Further up. Yeah, all stuff. I can only imagine. Leighton, is that you? Good evening, Mr. Collins. What are you doing lurking around the school gate at this hour? Have you finished your short essay I gave you? Um, pretty much. Hmm. You no doubt find the, this puzzle a piece of cake then. Why is our lecturer giving us a puzzle at this time of hour? Um, a young explorer wants to go from point one to point five. To do, to do so, he must pass through the correct four caves in the cave complex show. The wrong caves are filled with horrible traps. He has within four photos A to D taken by an explorer who made it through successfully. Work out the correct route using the photographs. However, keep in mind that you don't know which photo has photo was taken where. So I reckon D, um, <laughs> D has to be either one of these lot or one of these lot. Um, I 
I reckon B is the end. So B is here. Um, <coughs> it's got to it's got to be the end because the flowers are there. A. A is there because it's like the deserty sort of grass patch, and I reckon it's that bit there. Um. C and D are now. I reckon this has got to be C because it's looking towards tunnels a lot better. Because if these lot are coming out here, you won't see the tunnels. This has got to be D. Now we just have the issue of which individual point. Um, for A. Um, because it's facing this, I reckon... Coming out of this tunnel, you wouldn't see the grass as well. So I reckon it's this bottom one. Uh, to see the end... Um, it's like a curved round, so it's like it's. I reckon it's this top one. Oh, and A sort of is that curve again. Um, C. If we're going with the curve theory, it's this one here. And then D is fairly straight. So I reckon it's that one. So it's far right, middle, far right. Far right, middle. Far right, and then far left. I'm not certain. He always looks very shocked Did I get it? when he's got it right. Um. So yeah, we got it right. Huh. You have done your homework after all. Yes, sir. Well, don't stay up. Well, don't stay out too late. We don't want your mother to start worrying. I won't, sir. Okay, so we talked to that dude. Let's go up here. All those questions about what was it? The Mask of Chaos? What soft-boiled scheme has he cooked up this time? Ah. Hmm. What's Dalston doing out here at this hour? Oi, Leighton. Bit late for a stroll. I could say the same to you, Dalston. Do your parents even know you're out? Maybe. Maybe not. Who cares? I go where I like. When I like. Hey. I just saw Angela go by. You lot aren't having another of your little archaeology parties, are you? I really don't know don't know what Angela sees in that posh brat. His parents aren't even as rich as mine. Ah. Oh, well. And what about you, Leighton? Aren't you tired of playing along with all Brat Scott's potty ideas? I might not care about the archaeology, but I do enjoy listening to Randall in full rant. He's good at talking, that's for sure. Never shuts up. But aren't we getting a bit old for Kitty Adventures? The aren't Kitty Adventures, Dalston. Anyway, we're only 17. We're already 17, you mean. Thought you'd have grown out of puzzles and riddles by now. Like this one. How easy is this? As far as Zelda randomizer, I know very little about Link to the Past and I've only played it played through it once. Um, see, that's the one I watch and have <coughs> actually completed myself, which is why I sort of picked that one. But what we could do is um, we do that one and we might, we could do another one as well, which you could pick and then it's more about helping the other one through it as well as it being randomised. 
um, which could be fun. Um, what? See, now I'm not having to look up Zelda games. Because um, there was one that I played, which you've played Randomizer. Um, <coughs> how do you spell Ocarina of Time? That could be... Ah, I played a little of Ocarina of Time, but it was when I was really young, so I probably didn't understand what I was meant to be doing. And I would always get stuck at the same point. Um, so even that one could be a good one to do. Because um, it would be nostalgic for me. But I would need a lot of carrying through it at that point. Um, Dalston has posed <coughs> Herschel a maths problem. It's written on a homework sheet, but it's torn in several places. Make it very difficult to read. Dalston smirks as he watches Herschel examine the puzzle. With an air of self-satisfaction, he says, still struggling. But this is the simplest pro math problem ever. Can you help Herschel work out the answer to the problem? Write down the number. That doesn't help. Um... It's ripped. Why would he rip it like this? <laughs> I was going to see if, like, it was one of these trick ones where 1 equals A, 1 equals B, and 1 is meant to equal C. But it doesn't look like I can put a letter. Um, A plus B minus 630, something 900, <coughs> or 90 either. I want to say it's like something really odd like zero, because it's trying to make you think it's like a three digit number or something. And if that's three five one plus three six two, that equals um, seven thirteen. If my maths is good, which is a. Um, minus seven oh is that a four or a nine? I want to assume it's a four because it's a very flat line. You think it's a nine? But if we look at this nine here. Oh, because you see the four afterwards, yeah. That's also a good point. So, yeah, we'll go with nine. That's... Um, but what would this be? Do you think that would be a minus? Because I reckon if it was a plus, you would see a bit. Um, and if you think it's some possibly minus four, that equals zero, which would be B. Um, which would then be. 713 plus 0 minus that's meant I reckon it's another minus maybe 
But that on its own is what... Um... This is really testing my maths here. Um... Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Are you? Are you sure? I guess if we both got eighty-seven, but then what's the ninety? You're positive. Good. 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 But is that ninety then a plus or a minus? It better not be a divide um, or a times. That's just taking the piss. Because if it's minus 90, it'd be minus 3. Um, if it's positive, if it's plus, it would be 177. There's definitely a 1 there, right? Can we do a minus? No. I did do the adding up right, right? I'm not certain. <laughs> well, I'm hardly surprised. Dalton says it's a simple problem that can't be right, or can it? It can't be right. Oh, you know what? I um... I think we've been going about this the whole wrong way because we were looking at the numbers, not the um. Not this. Yeah, remember, it's a, it's a simple problem, which I'm assuming this is meant to be like a 7. So if it's 17 minus 2, I don't know what else that could be. That's definitely a 2. That, I reckon that's definitely a 1. 17 minus 2 is 15. So I reckon it was the cuts in the paper, right? Yeah. Puzzles can be quite fun. Me and Shadow just did a long, complicated um, actual puzzle when the simple. <laughs> you're, yeah, I know you're a fast page, yeah. The simple term and the simple way. This is how the puzzles get me. I. I I read it out loud, even though it says simple, I'm like, all right, let's go for probably the most complex solution because simple is trying to be like misguiding. And then it really is the simple way. Poof. I think Ascot's infected you with his puzzleitis. You pretend not to care, but you enjoy it really. You and Angela, I can't afford to get wrapped up in your little games. Not if I want to become a successful hotel magnet. By the way, I saw that errand boy from the Ascot house carrying two huge shopping bags earlier. Now, there's a busy bee, and he's no older than us. You'd never catch me being bossed around like that. Well, you're not, Henry, as long as he's happy with it. Oh, and, um, how you doing, Sim? Sim? Simkit? I don't know what you actually want to be called. I can't remember whether I've asked before or not. Um, but I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, aren't you just the same, though? Letting his lordship, Count Bratula, lead you around by the nose. You sound awfully sour, Dol Dolston. If you want to join us, you should just say. Anyway, I really should go. See you tomorrow. Um, 
So I think we need to go this way. Can't see. Oh, Herschel. Angela, perfect timing. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. They have an audio. Randall seems to be quite single minded lately. Yeah, that's Randall. I think his enthusiasm is one of the reasons I admire him. I suppose. But that passion makes him easily excitable. You know, you're very good for him. You keep him balanced. Is balanced the same as boring? Uh, no. Randall's lucky. We're both looking out for him. Yes. He is lucky, isn't he? He's got a kind girlfriend who's concerned about his well-being. And a loyal best friend. Yeah. You'll always look out for him, won't you, Herschel? Promise me. Yes. The audio's just flickering Promise. a bit. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm good, just bored? No. I'm glad to hear you're good, but like, not so that you're bored. Uh, there. We found a coin. Another coin. And another coin. All right, let's get moving. Right, let's sneak in the usual way. Yes, I think that would be best. I feel... S I feel sneak in just means go through the front door, right? Herschel, no, if we go through the front door, Mr. Asgore, what is this? Ah, oh, that, that was a trap. Hmm, last time he caught us, he wasn't too pleased, was he? I don't want to think about it. Let's go through the window. <laughs> or is it that one or that one? That's just a hint coin. Alright. This either on the wall is really the VIP entrance to Randall's room, isn't it? Ha! I reckon I could count on one hand the number of times I've been in through the front door. Randall's father isn't that bad, you know. He's just very, very strict. Randall hasn't opened the window yet, has he? We'll have to send the signal. Yep. Would you care to do the honours, Herschel? The signal is to solve a puzzle outside the window, I bet. Ring the bell and send the signal to Randall. Set the order in which the four slingshots are shot. The shots will only bounce off the wall. Off the first... <coughs> sorry, the shots will only bounce off the first thing they come into contact with. And any obstructions they hit will break and disappear. Get it right and the bell will ring. So it'll bounce off that. Then I think you're just gonna hit the cat. I don't know where this one's going. Let's just see what happens if we do this. Okay, so the cat does break it. It's not a real cat. Um, I don't know why we would need to break... Huh. <sighs> 
Uh, uh. I, don't, I don't know what I'm going for here yet. Or I just saw that accidentally. I this may be it. Sometimes this you just solve things accidentally. Well done. The bell rang. Hopefully Randall heard it. Hopefully it wasn't his dad. I don't know what I'm going for, going for yet. Or well, maybe I do. I just solved it. Exactly. Like, I, I didn't know exactly what path went to the bell and what I had to clear yet. Um, and it just happened to um, solve itself, really. Great. That should do it. Cutscene. Oh. Hey, Randall. Hello, we're not late, are we? I've been waiting ages. Herschel, did you have to protect my Angie from terrible dangers on the way? I am bound to say that the lady did not require my aid, though I would have been glad to provide it had the need arisen. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, come off it. What a gentleman, eh, Angie? So, what is this thing you're going to tell us all about? Yes! Don't you have something to show us? Patience, patience, my friends. Cutscene. Uh -huh. Is that the mask of chaos? <laughs> it doesn't look chaotic. Oh, look! At I'm liking this music. The the mask of chaos. You mean the real Mask of Chaos? The one and only? The artifact, the artifact Donald Rutledge wrote of in his ancient histories. I found it at last. That's a fake, right? Absolutely not. This is the genuine article. According to Rutledge, the myth goes that he who holds the Mask of Chaos may have anything he desires. That's incredible. But it sounds a bit, you know, ominous, ominous, ominous. I definitely know how to say that word. Ha! It's just a legend, Herschel. You should believe everything you read. Still, when I examined the mask, I made an unexpected discovery. Something Rutledge didn't mention? Exactly. The mask does indeed possess an extraordinary power. It holds the key to unimaginable fortune and glory. That is to say, if I can crack the puzzle of the mask, it will lead me to the lost treasure of an ancient civilization. Well, what do you say? Doesn't it fill you with a thirst of adventure? Uh, no. To begin with, we don't even know if that really is the Mask of Chaos. Where did you get it from? Hehe, <laughs> excellent question, my dear Herschel. It wasn't easy. I had to crack a devilish puzzle to get my hands on the mask. A puzzle? What puzzle? What puzzle, chat? Take a look at this. Behold. Do we have to solve the puzzle? Has he gone what mental? I don't understand. Has he gone crazy? Look at it. Those are just scribblings to me. We made the trip to Montedor to investigate the Mask of Chaos. There, we witnessed a terrifying sight. Civilians petrified before our very eyes. We met Angela Lador, an old friend of the Professor's. We also learned of a tragic event in Professor Layton's past. I didn't get much sleep that night, but the sunrise was quite beautiful. Are we going back to the present day now? Chapter 3. Discord in Montador. See, in Montador they, they have Discord as well, guys.
There's a lot more cutscenes in this one, but they're all a lot shorter. I'm not sure whether that's, I like it or not. Well, looks like somebody needs more sleep. Don't worry, you stay here while the professor and I investigate, okay? Nah. What? You're going to leave me behind? No. Oh, nice try, Emmy. I may be half asleep, but you can't trick me. Half asleep? So you admit it, then? You could do with a bit more sleep. Sure. You don't want to stay here and take a nap. Uh, no, I'm okay. I can investigate, too. Come now, you two. Before we set out, let's, let us go through yesterday's events. Okay, well, we arrived here in Montador after we got that letter from Mrs. Lador. When we went to see her, she told us that a shady character calling himself the Masked Gentleman is stirring up trouble in the city. We even got to see one of his miracles last night for ourselves. The Professor and I saw him turn people into stone. The whole city is on edge. If the masked gentleman isn't caught soon, we don't know what might happen. Indeed, it is our mission to apprehend the masked gentleman and, and restore peace to Montador. But in order to do so, we must first find out who is behind the mask. From what I can, from what I gather, the police are still fumbling for a lead. If so little to go on. It'd be best to get the full story from Mr. Lador himself. An excellent proposition. I was thinking this might be a good time to pay Henry a visit. So we're going to the Lador's. Maybe we can check also the place where they kept the mask then. Uh, let's check the room. See, we found an alarming... Was that an alarm clock or alarming clock? Slightly different things. Well, this is a pleasant surprise, a hidden puzzle. Leighton slept on a puzzle, guys. Oh, oh. Bunny hop swap too. Those rabbit toys are raring to go again. There are three rules. The rabbits can only move by jumping horizontally, diagonally or vertically over other rabbits. They can jump over any number of rabbits at once. A white rabbit will turn brown when jumped over, and vice versa. I knew it. He does puzzles in his sleep. I know, right? Um, this puzzle. I really don't like this puzzle, guys. Please, allow me. They always have some kind of chessboard puzzle in, get in these games, and they're always different. Um, the point is back, I know, right? And I'm not sure what I think about this chessboard one. Um, I think I prefer preferred... The second Pandora's box one was good. This, this one I'm not too keen on. There's always a point in these games. A physical point, that is, Shadow. Very taxing, but it worked wonders on their little grey cells. More hint coins.
As there should be. It's dramatic, exactly. What would the games be without the points? Professor, isn't that... No. But then who could it be? A friend of yours, Emmy? No, no, but I could swear I've seen her before somewhere. Ah, uh, Granny Riddleton. But her name's Elizabeth. What? My life's a lie. What is this? Hee <laughs> hee. How befitting. The carnival is... She's wearing a mask, that's what it is. Is of a beauty such as myself. At last I shall have a chance to shine. But you travellers, a sense that you are overwhelmed by the glitz of the city and in need of guidance from your puzzle queen. I recognise that voice and that fashion sense, aren't you, Granny? Silence. The beautiful and clairvoyant Elizabeth has spoken. Clairvoyant? Is that so? Did I hear you say you are a puzzle queen? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, yes. I am the ruler of puzzles. And you'll find my puzzle, puzzling subjects roaming all over the land. Fun, frustrating, finicky. They're out there. Everywhere you look. But sometimes a puzzle might stump us and we put it off until later. Other times we miss puzzles completely. And that is where I come in. I gavel the, gather those poor neglected puzzles and keep them safe and warm as a good queen should. In other words, if we let any puzzles slip by, we just have to come and see you. That sounds very convenient. Isn't it? Just. After all, I am your puzzle queen, Elizabeth the... Beautiful and clairvoyant. Hee <laughs> hee, you're catching on, boy. Just stop by my sh... That is my palace whenever you're itching for a puzzle or five. Okay, so we will... We will go in. Hee <laughs> hee, if it's puzzles you're after, then look no further. Okay, so... It might be we just have to get to the next chapter before it um, fills up with puzzles. I don't know how this one works. Or we've got them all as we've gone through. Good morning to you, Professor. I trust you slept well. Very well indeed, thank you. The room is very comfortable. I am glad to hear that. We pride ourselves on being one of the finest hotels in the city. We strive for excellence. I don't think we may... I said don't. I do think we may one day achieve it. With so many splendid hotels in Montador, I imagine competition must be fierce. It is, yes. But our priority here at the Camel's Hump remains the same. Providing the very best service for our guests. Your satisfaction is of the utmost importance to us, so please, do ask should you require anything. Thank you, we'll keep that in mind. He had nothing for us. Boop, 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 boop. The streets are still packed, but compared to last night, it feels quite peaceful. The carnival goers must be exhausted from all the thrills. Do you think there will be another parade tonight, Professor? From what I've heard, there is a parade every evening, but try to remember, Luke, that we are not here for the festivities. Should we continue gathering information from witnesses? Certainly. I was thinking we could talk to the locals while we make our way to, Lador to the Lador residence. Hmm. Professor, look, it's that little girl who was lost. She's crying again. Why is it she's crying again? Why? Well, I... I was only talking to the clown for a, a sec, like, and then my mum, my mum disappeared. S Shadow, you tossed a coin to your streamer. And I am thankful. I hope you've, you achieve what you set out to do by tossing a coin at your streamer. But where'd she gone? Ah. For that, I have a puzzle for you, Shadow. We should try not to stray too far from our investigation. I'm hoping there's a puzzle at the end of this, and then it's yours, Shadow. Listen, I don't know what else to waste my 44,000 points. Jesus Christ, Shadow. See, I know, like, when I'm in other people's streams, like, I have a lot of points. Oh, shit, you could reset my speed run at some point. 
But I don't think you're that cruel to do it. Maybe you are. I don't know. Yeah, you're not mean. You. I, I probably should put that a lot higher. Um. But yeah. I don't know what you could. Like a, quite a few of the my point redemptions are specific game-wise for when I go back to them. Like there's a couple of Dead by Daylight ones. There's specific ones for like Anno, uh, Fall Guys, um, Sea of Thieves ones. So it's it's tough. You don't like Dead by Daylight personally? Yeah, I've kind of gone from it for a bit. Um, but I'm here, from what I've seen and heard, they, the new killers kind of ruin the game. Um, but it is a very toxic game, to say the least. And it is one of those that you either enjoy it or you don't, because it is very frustrating at times. I knew you'd say that. Alright, let's find you. this girl's mum. Can you remember where you last saw your mother, little one? I think, I think it was near the huge tent, where the water guns... Where the water guns whoosh whoosh that's got to be the celebration boulevard let's go all right so we just kidnapped a child can we talk to her hello there do i know you gloria i thought it was you oh of course it's young herschel Last time I saw you, you were just a lad, and you had rather more hair. A friend of yours, Professor? Yes, from a l from long ago. This is Gloria. What brings you here? Are you on holiday? Oh, goodness, no. I moved to Montador five years ago now. There's only a handful of people left in Stansbury, Herschel. It's a sad, desolate place these days. But look at you with your lovely wife and children. To think you didn't invite your dear auntie to the wedding. <laughs> oh no, it's not what it looks like at all. This is my assistant, Emmy. And Luke is here. Luke here is, is the son of a good friend. Emmy Altava. It's nice to meet you, Gloria. And this little girl can't find her mother, so we're helping her look. That's nice, dear. You know, Herschel, it wouldn't have hurt to come and visit now and then. Too late now, though. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss Stansbury. The peace and quiet, the green, even the creepy crawlies. Once door is just hectic these days. Some rowdy character in a mask calling himself the masked gentleman. Oh, what have you. He's been going after Taurus, too. We've got to keep an eye out wherever you go. I don't know. Be careful, won't you, Herschel? Of course I will, Gloria. Well... It has been lovely to see you again, but we really must be getting on. Um. Intricate fishing hook. Okay, so we need to go down. Puzzle time. Ain't Mrs. Lador a proper beauty? They say her and her hobby ain't on the best of terms. Maybe now is my chance, eh? Are you talking about Angela? That's Mrs. Lador to you, Scruff. Who said you could use her first name, eh? What was that about? The Lador's not getting on? He, it's obvious, isn't it? He gets home late every night. Who can say where he is all day? Not his wife, anyway. What do you mean? Obviously, he's busy with all the miracle business. Being the city's founder probably comes with its fair share of duties, too. Don't open your gob when you ain't got a clue what you're on, I'd love. You're one of them tomboys, ain't you? Can't stand them. A woman who ain't brainy ain't worth my time. That's what I say. Bet you can't even solve this puzzle. Uh, oh, crude. He said the next puzzle's mine. Precious on. Fingers crossed it's uh, like a maths puzzle or something. Um, a 
and B are confronting each other in ten rounds of card in ten in a ten round card game. The rules of this game are simple. Fire beats wood, wood beats water, and water beats fire. So it's rock, paper, scissors, but their own version. The details aren't clear, but it seems that A drew fire three times. Wood five times and water twice. While B drew fire twice, wood five times and water three times. None of the rounds were drawn. Can you work out who won this match? So you got a 50-50 chance, Shadow. What? The chances of you getting... Sort of like a... An op a multiple choice uh, puzzle in this game is fairly slim normally. So it's a 50-50 chance, A or B. I'll let you read the description. Um, Because I'm going to try and work out as well, but whatever your answer is, I will go with that one, even if I think it's the opposite. Because you've got to try and match what A and B got without making a single draw. Um, they both drew wood five times. See, I'm trying not to put my working out on screen, because that could help you out, Shadow. Um, and I'm allowing this puzzle to be all yours. Heck. <laughs> See, as far as I'm aware, you could just pick A or B. Completely guess it. I don't wouldn't even know it's a complete guess. And if you get it right, you can be like, yeah, I worked that out. If you got it wrong, I think the cat's out of the bag. You probably guessed it. Um, if it was like a maths one, I'm sure you'd probably get it. Um, if it was just some random riddle, um, it would have been a lot harder for you. <laughs> so I'm going to put the text on the other screen. Other bit now. Will Shadow choose A? Or will he choose B? I'm trying, but they both each drew 10 cards each. There's no difference. There's not, no. Um, but what I see is, let's assume A drew wood. The first five cards he drew were wood. There was no draws, so wood couldn't have been brought up here. Um, he drew fire twice um, and water three times. I'm going to do water as H, H2O. You to know how to do probability there. It's a bit of a... Um, so wait, fire beats wood. I 
then wood beats water. So technically it's a three to two at the moment. Um, and wood has done, A's done all their wood. Now it's five, lots of wood there. A drew five three times. Um, and then had to be water, water twice. And we're doing water as H because it's H2O, otherwise, it'd just be a load of W's on the screen. Fire beats wood. So this one's six. Six to four. Um, is that way it would be. In that way, it would be a guess. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Pascal? Pascal? Pascasa? I, I really don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Set him up and knock him down. Piece of cake. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to, welcome in. Yeah, it, it's all about... I completely solved it. Didn't... T totally didn't guess. <laughs> yeah. That one, I think it's easier if you've written it down, like, worked out your solution, shall we say. See, I told. Wait, you solved it? I've been trying to work that out for weeks. Maybe if you spent less time being insulting to strangers, you'd solve a puzzle or two. <laughs> a perennial tomboy with a big gun. You'll never be no Angela Dorr, but I like your style. Let's talk to this dude. He's looking up at something. Either that way, it's just how he looks. How he is. Out of my way. Don't you know who I am? I'm Walton of Walton and CEO. I don't know what that accent was, guys. Walton of Walton? Hiya. Oh, what charming little rough. What charming little ragamuffins. Huh. Since you're blocking my path, I assume there's something you want. We're looking for Mama. Mummy. Mammy? Have you seen her, mister? I really don't like the way she talks. Well, uh, how would I know? I'd never met your Mummy. Dear, oh dear. What am I supposed to do with you two? Wait, I'm not lost. I'm just helping her find Mummy. I mean, her mother. Ah, splendid then. Now I think of it, I did see a woman rushing towards Celebration Boulevard. White trousers and wavy red hair seem to be looking for someone. Maybe you. Ah, that's got to be her. Thank you, sir. Cheers, mister. Bye-bye. Huh. Don't mention it. Time is money, but I've got that coming out of my ears, so to speak. So I think we need to head south. We, met, we need to go back to where we started. The gallery isn't open to the public yet. No doubt the police are still at work in there. My mum was upset because we didn't get to see all the nice stuff in there. I can't imagine they'll have it closed for much longer. Maybe it'll be open tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. It depends on what the police find, I suppose. Let's try again later. Um, we will talk to uh, every single person we meet on the way. The boss Dan Dandelman is the talk of the town. Have you seen what he can do? It's amazing. She, the old fish lips here is probably the worst one of how she speaks. Yeah, amazing. I know, right? I hope I get to meet him. I took the bus all the way from... Ipsthorpe, just to see one of them, his miracles with my own eyes. Bet you'd like to meet him too, right? He's so wonderfabulant. Look, he even made a spectificent, spectificent puzzle for him. Yeah, old fish lips. Yeah. 
we met her on the first um, first day I streamed this game, and the lips were just. I can't do it because like, I'm not her, but we're calling our old fish lips now. A, B, and C each ate one of three differently sized slices of strawberry gatto. A, C ate the medium slice, and B had the large one. B, A had the large slice, and I had the medium one. A and B have each made one statement that is true and one that is false. Can you work out who ate which slice? Move the slices onto the plate to answer. Hmm. A said C H the medium. So if we assume A is right, it would look like that. Do you think that matches up? I feel B had a lot. I don't know. A had the large slice. And I had the medium one. So if B was telling the truth, it looked like that. I feel B had the large one. Look at her grin like she's just eaten a load of cake. Either way, C had the small one. But the problem is, it the picture may be making you think it's this way around, when it's probably the other way around, but I'm going to guess this anyway. Okay, here we go. C. Are you certain about that? It said, consider the statements again. C ate the medium slice. Wait, I, I had um, these ran the wrong way. C ate the medium slice. B had the large one. I, I think A is telling the truth, sorry. There's only one statement of each person. Oh, one. So I'm reading it wrong. I thought it was one. Either A or B is telling the truth. Um, let's move that up. Yeah, it's not one telling the truth and the other is like, yeah. So, from, from what A is saying, it's either C ate the medium slice, which is the truth, or it's B had the large one, which is the truth, yeah. After you sent your first message, I was like, it's just clocked that... I'm going about this completely wrong. Um, so if we assume that B had the large slice... No. Okay, let's just assume A is saying C at the medium slice which, slice, which is the correct one. Which means B had the large slice is a lie. Um, which would then mean if B said A had the large slice, which is true, and she had the medium one, which would be the lie, she would have had the small one. That works out right. Um, I think it works out. Set him up and knock him down. Yes. Yeah, I went completely the wrong way with the start of that. Do, 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 do. Wonder Fabulant. How did you manage that? She must be really intelligible. 
So, uh, Serena, you're hoping to see the Moth's Gentleman, right? Aren't you afraid after what he did yesterday? What do you mean? I'd love a statue of myself, even if I have to be terrified to... Stalagiminium. Oh, so what? What is her words? I have trouble with normal words, but when she's combining two of them together... Yeah, Wonder Fabulous, exactly. Shadow. <sighs> Wherever there's a miracle, you can guarantee firm. I'll be at the front of the queue to see it. F yeah, f why fish lips? Why? Look, look at her lips. You do know it's not really a show, don't you? He's dangerous. Oh yes, absolutely. The masked dandelman is real. That's what makes him so th thrillerating. Serena, meeting the masked gentleman is no more thrill-eating than losing your life savings in a casino. What do you mean? Have you seen the masked Andalman in a casino? Well, I know where I'm going tonight. Yeah, we're not talking to her again. Ah, we meet again, Professor Layton. What are the chances? Hello there, Mr. Mordant. Out running errands, are you? I'm sure we'll come across the fish lip lady again. Something like that. I've just been examining the scene of last night's incident. But, to be frank, I've turned nothing up. No, I've turned up nothing at all. I don't seem to have much talent for detective work. Was it really magic? We can't entirely rule out that possibility. But it's far more likely that some sort of trick was involved. So it seems, so it seems. By the way, I see your party's gained a member since last night. Ah uh, yes, this would be... Bonnie, I'm lost. Well, me ma'am's lost. We're trying to find her. You wouldn't happen to have seen a red-haired woman dressed in purple in the vicinity, would you? Funny you should ask, really. I saw precisely such a woman on Celebration Boulevard just now. She was asking around after a child, too. I don't expect that's a coincidence. Cheers, Mr. N Cheers, Mr. Nobbleheed. You'd make a proper good detective, like. Oh, my first solved case. Well, I hope you find your mother soon. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Why do they have to make all these people talk funny? She's obviously got a quest for us. Hello. Isn't today just lovely? It's so peaceful compared to yesterday, and eh? We've got a full full ooze again. Full house again. Things have certainly calmed down. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly people adapt will adapt. Oh, it's always like this. The masked geezer kicks up a bright fuss, then the next day it's like nothing ever happened. I do worry though, like what if one day something really terrible happens and we can't go back to normal? I intend, I intend to catch the masked gentleman before it comes to that. Hang on, I didn't mean to set the tone so grim. Uh, is an idea. He puzzled to brighten the mood. Uh oh, something to do with penguins. Emperor's throne. Six penguins are standing on an iceberg, five small ones, and they're rather por portly emperor. All penguins can move either horizontally or vertically, but once in motion, they won't stop until they hit another penguin. If there's nothing in the way, they'll plunge straight into the sea. Can you help the emperor penguin get back to his rightful place in the centre of the iceberg? Um, does that mean I've just got to, like... Okay, so... Oh, I can move the penguin still. Huh. I had to do it, sorry chat. Um... I need a penguin here, but how? Hmm. 
Yeah. Slider puzzles are probably one of my favourite in this in this series. Um I've gotta try and block it here. So I've gotta get this this big boy here into the centre square. Um So I can get him down here. I don't think that was that was it. Not for you, you're as bad. <laughs> See, I've always found that a lot of the older games, the slow puzzles were either extremely complex, that it was just trial and error. Or you could see the solution straight away. Uh, that was just sort of my way of it. Um, that's how you start off. So you have to, we have to get this dude oh, here. Um, but if you move a penguin, they will just fly off the end. Unless there's another penguin blocking it. Somehow, we need to get a penguin blocking around the edge. Um, I think we have to move that one first. Right, I'm going to reset because obviously there's a slight delay in chat to me getting it of like when you post your message so if you think you've got the solution hit me with it i don't know where back where you are was that's the only issue uh I think or do I do that one so four penguin left And I'm guessing I can always go back. Because the good thing about uh, this version of the game is there's an undo button instead of just restart. Um, up, left, down. Emperor up. But left is going off the board. Do you mean right? Yeah, down. Right, down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe I have this one. As soon as you did the right down, right up, right down, left, right, right, whatever you put, I could see it now on the board. So I got it over to here where I was like, I need to get it back this way. Originally, that was my first time. I'm trying, really, I am. But I can't stop thinking about the, the futures or doom and gloom. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, select, like start. What are you spawning in, Shadow? What cheat cheat are you using here? <laughs> I, miss, I miss the days of, like, PlayStation. 
all the um, cheat sheets used to just be mash a load of buttons and hopefully you don't get one wrong because it's like a 20 odd mash button thing you have to do oh yeah a little bird told me that some of the city's bigwigs went and had a gander at the scene of the trouble huh. was Mr. Lador among them? yeah I think so they were all trying to pretend like everything's fine but they look pretty uptight to me they were having a bit of a barney at one point, trying to pin the blame on each other. Sounded like. Oh, are they not on good terms then? You could say that. Anyways, I don't care whose fault it is as long as they catch the last gentleman. Alright, let's get down there. I'm pretty sure that's the mum. Hey, where'd that be? be the... I, I have no idea what B A R B A I R N. How would you pronounce that? Get off to this time. I look away for one second, Burn. I have no idea. I'm not great with words if you haven't. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm all good with words in general, <laughs> as some of you may have gathered. Mummy! Ah, oh, way! Bonnie, where have you been? Didn't I tell you to stay close? I was talking to the clown, and then when I turned around, I couldn't see you. We looked all over for you, Mummy. Ah, yes, we bumped into your daughter again a little way back. E, thank you so much, pet. I'm really sorry for bothering you again. She can be a be a reet pain sometimes. Cheers, mister. At least she's got manners to say thank you. That boy seems to be quite the little explorer. Maybe she'll grow up to be an archaeologist. I once lost my parents in the middle of London when I was um, younger. I know how it feels. Oh, yes. Weren't you in London just the other week? That's different. Anyway, I decided to go have a look at one of the maps in the streets. And they... And there they were. Now that we've solved this little case, let's hurry on to Lord Jules. We will talk to this man. All right, son, you're going to have to move a few steps to the left. We had a little happening here last night. You can't have been investigating the whole night, surely. Hey, what are you on about? Who are you mixing me up with one of my fellow officers? We're not all the same person. What? But you look just like... You've even got the same nose. Luke, leave the officer to his work. Though his resemblance is uncanny. On the outside, maybe. You can't tell from my face. But I'm the most disciplined officer on the force. I train the hardest. A police officer was doing some target practice one day. The target was divided into sections where the sorry, sections worth 5, 35, 40, 75 and 100 points. After five shots, his score totaled 100 points. How many times did he manage to shoot each section? Wait, how many shots did he do? Five. Um, he's not very good then, is he? Most of the questions involve maths to some degree, Shadow. <laughs> so, uh. Let's hope you. Let's see if you can work it out before I do, Shadow. Um. Yeah, his total. I'll put that up. That should help. But yeah, his total was 100. Um, this could be a trick where he only shot once. Well, he shot five times, but he only hit the target once, which was the 100. And then the other four, you could assume he hit around the very outside. 
Um... Because the way I said, none of these add up to 100 unless you just made the one shot that was 100. Yeah. Um, because if you had two 40s and then three fives, you'd still be missing, what, five? If you did two 35s and three fives, you'd be missing, I think, 15, if I'm just doing the maths quickly. Um, so it is, I think, a trick question. I doubt I have to put zero in all of those. How about this? Or maybe he was that good that all five of his shots went exactly at, to the same point. No. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit odd that he's managed it. I guess the um, the one they shot into the one hundred was just pure fluke, <laughs> because the others. A hot shot or a not shot, exactly. Impressive. From the way you solved that puzzle, I take it you're not here for pleasure, then. Maybe you know something concerning last night's incident, huh? Well, we were at the scene, but I doubt we can tell you anything you don't already know about the masked gentleman. The carnival was in full swing. What kind of villain pulls tricks in the street, in a street full of defenseless civilians? Because of him and his shenanigans, I've been late home every single night. Wife's worried sick about me. We were supposed to be out enjoying the celebrations too. Ah, and I was really looking forward to having some candy floss. Sounds like you need a rest. I've heard there have been a few, very few leads as of yet. They've organised a special task force, but no one knows who's in charge of what at the moment. Well, if we find anything useful, we'll be sure to inform the police. Much appreciated. The sooner I can sink my teeth into a toffee apple, the better. Okay, so we've got to go to the mansion. We're not talking to fish lips again. Are we all start talking to people on the way now? Step right up. Jean-Paul's toys are the best in town. You want it? We've got it. Bears, dinosaurs, rabbits, piggies, cars and tractors, and thingamajiggies. Hello, Jean-Paul. Or Jean-Paul. I'm pretty sure it's Jean-Paul. Ah, aren't you Emmy's friend? How are you enjoying Montador? Very well, thank you. And Luca's taking good care of the robot she gave us. Glad to hear it. I can re I can't really give you another toy, but how about a puzzle instead? Oh no! <coughs> this toy chain is made up of many smaller links. When one of the links is removed, the chain forms one complete ring. Circle the letter of the link that should not be. Okay, so. At the moment, it's a mess. Once you're on chain one, it becomes a link. A full chained link. Um, <coughs> these three are connected. Then it goes to red. Red and blue don't connect. It goes to green. Goes to blue. I reckon it's H. Because F and K don't connect. It goes F goes to G, which goes to C. C is oh, no, it goes to D. Sorry, C is 
in front of D completely, so they're not connected. The only one that has two... No, the only one that has three connections is G and K. So I'm going with, what was a H? There is no puzzle without a solution. Every puzzle has an answer, as you might say. We did it. And the pointing returns. Ha! I knew you would like that one. I've got goodies for everyone, even those who are too old for toys. That was a fine puzzle, thank you. And I do know that sometimes I just add words in to their sentences. Hey, Professor, did you notice that? Jean-Paul doesn't talk the same way to us as he does, as he does Emmy. Yes, Luke, I did. But let's not mention that to Emmy, shall we? We wouldn't want to embarrass her. Um... Nothing wrong with a bit of improv. Sometimes you just add words because I think it sounds right just being there. Uh, this is where we got conned. Or nearly conned. Um, I doubt there's much here because we searched it quite a lot last time. We're just going to go straight in. She does not look amused. Look at her face. Herschel, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry, but Henry had to go out rather suddenly. He asked me to show you to his study, though. Please, spend as long as you like. Thank you, Angela. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. Just some business in town, I expect. Shall we, Herschel? Henry's study is this way. Of course. Please convey my thanks to Henry. I'm sorry to have missed him today. I know, and I'm sorry too. It's just that things have gotten a bit hectic for Henry since the masked gentleman appeared. Between dealing with the police and trying to appease the business owners, he hasn't had a moment to himself. Let's go to his study. Oh my, what a beautiful study. Rows of books and not a speck of dust. Yes, Henry is rather fastidious about cleaning. It's what he does to relax. That's a very industrious way to relax. This is quite a large home to maintain. Do you have any help? Oh, Henry does most of the work whenever he gets anxious. Well, he likes to be productive. He must have a lot of anxiety himself. Oh, anxiety in his life. Is it true that he built Montador from nothing? Oh yes, Henry is quite remarkable like that. Always has been, especially since Randall... Uh... Please excuse me, feel free to examine the study as much as you'd like. I'll be here if you have any questions. The desk looks untouched. I'm sure we were looking at the painting, not the desk. Um, I used to see Henry sitting at the desk for hours, though not in recent days. So Henry would spend a lot of time working in here. Sometimes working, other times he'll just be poring over that mask. That awful mask. I wish Randall had never found that cursed mask. That thing tore us apart. You, me, Randall. Oh, so he's like me. Always anxious and feeling the need to constantly be productive. I think a lot of people are very similar. Um, but yes. He could possibly be like you, Shadow. If that's how you see... If that's how you represent yourself or see yourself. But now, it seems the mask has brought us together again. Funny. Okay, some like all my programmers just flickered for a minute. But now it's like a mask that can bring both joy and sorrow. It acted as a catalyst 
both for Randall's misfortune and Henry's success. Is it true that Montador would not exist today had Henry not found the mask and the treasure? Yes, you could say that. Henry used his newfound fortune to open a small inn out, out here in the middle of no in the desert. It was a modest place to be in with, but it didn't stay that way for long. People streamed in, explorers, entrepreneurs, and soon tourists. The inn had to be extended, then remodelled. Henry's little ho pro hotel project became a, an astonishing success. And the rest is history. Montador flourished and became what it is today. I still find it amazing that this city was just one little hotel 18 years ago. Henry credits the existence of Montador to the Mask of Chaos. That mask has changed so many lives in so many ways. Say, Mrs. La Angela, does the Mask of Chaos really have magical powers? The person who stole it certainly seems to think so. Yes, I'm very interested in the culprit's motives. I have a feeling everything will fall into place once we unmask our thief. Who is this masked gentleman and what does he want? Was the mask locked away in this chest? No, it was hanging on the wall here. You had a priceless artifact and you just left it hanging on the wall. Why not? This is our home. Had you thought displaying the mask brought good luck to Montador? I see. Where were you and Henry when the mask was stolen? I think we were both at home, but neither of us saw or heard anything. As soon as that, the masked gentleman started playing his own trick. Sorry, as, and soon after that, the masked gentleman started playing his tricks in town. Do you have any idea why he would want to bring harm to the town? It could be a disgruntled gambler, someone who lost some property, or maybe someone with a personal grudge. Maybe. It's hard to imagine anyone taking a rage with someone as unassuming as Henry, though. It would have bought it. It would have to be about money. I've got an idea here. Um, what happens? Um, if it was, if it was indeed our good old friend, um, what's his name? I can't believe I've forgotten his name. What was that young lad's name that found it originally? Randall. Um, what was if Randall, I'm assuming Randall, died or something? Because they're, they're, they're all very... They don't like talking about it. What was if Randall never died and uh, he's the one that stole it and is getting payback or something? I don't know. That's my theory at the moment. Roll to say hi. Nat. You knew exactly what you wanted to say in your head. You prepared this for this moment. You opened your mouth. But the words just didn't come out. But I noticed your presence. So I will make the first move and say, Hello Nat. How are you? Either that or the words by came out, yeah. Nat got really confused and just said she was leaving. Um, but yeah, how are you doing, Nat? Whatever the reason, it can't possibly justify throwing the whole city into chaos. Money can people, money can make people do crazy things. But things this crazy, I don't understand. I'm stressed today, but surviving. Hope you're all doing okay. Nat. Why you be stress? Become stressless. Um, eat a donut. Have a cookie. Have some cake. Just 
harm yourself. I don't know what else you can do. You had a few phone interviews today, so that was nice. See, I don't like the thought of phone interviews. I don't like talking on the phone, as it is. Um, which is the first problem. And the interviews itself is stressful anyway. Um, so, I hate the idea of phone interviews, even Zoom interviews, or anything like that. Just, I would be anxious and nervous and stressed if I had those. But how do they go, Shadow? Um, and work and friend stuff got me stressed. But it'd be okay. <coughs> yeah, you're talking on the phone too, but when employers want to contact you and try to employ you, then yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can't help but have to do it. Um, but normally, if I can avoid talking on the phone to people, I will. I'm very much, very much, very much a person that I'll, I will want to either text or email or something written, not personally talking to that person. How you doing, Lily? How's life? How are you? Just tell me, Lily. How is everything? How are you? How's the blog? How's Ricky's? Because we haven't seen him in a long time. Just how is everything, Lily? Tell us. Tell us everything. Um, we may still be looking around his study. What we found? That plate must have cost a fortune. Is this gold inlay, do you think? Don't touch it, Emmy. You might break it. A broken plate would be a sad thing indeed. Such is the case in this puzzle. Lily, Nat, you're just in time. For puzzle number 034. The cat's trophy. Drat. This pesky feline has knocked three plates off the dresser. The cat made off with one of the pieces. Can you tell which plate it's from? Choose <laughs> between A, B, or C. And Nat, without looking, is going for B. Alright. Um, and to honour Nat, we will blindly press B. B. Blindly press B. I'm sorry, Nat. Maybe I've met my match. You weren't correct. You are very good at making this puzzle go from having like a 33% chance to getting it right to 50% though now. Um, Lily saying she's good. She's run errands today and then worked on the blog, which is going well still. Good, 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 good. Um, Rookies is good. We just finished watching Big Bang Theory. I hate the show for the longest time, but he loved it, so I started watching it with him. And I guess I sort of grew on me a little. Big Bang Theory is. I don't think I was all that keen. Um... I wasn't all that keen on it when I started watching it. But. It, it grew on me and I ended up enjoying it because it was something different because it was a it was like a comedy show that tried to implement science basically so it was different and I kind of enjoyed it in the end Carl is going A so without even me trying to figure it out I will blindly trust Carl knows what he's talking about how you doing Carl? Carl also is very good at taking a puzzle, puzzle's chance of getting it right from 50-50 to 100%. Um, so thank you, Carl and Nat, for allowing us to figure out the right answer. <laughs> yeah, Shadow, by that theory, it is C. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. Leave it to me, Professor. How are you feeling today, Carl? I know you felt sort of dead the last few times we've uh, spoken. Not too bad, kind of flipped out of work today. <gasps> Why? I hope it's not too bad of uh, 
reason why you flipped out. Did you really think I'd break it too, Professor? I'm not that clumsy, you know. I thought nothing of the sort, but as a precautionary measure, you should probably stand well away. Oh, give me a break. You'd be right back, no worries. I feel what we need to press is the... <coughs> is the teapot. Maybe not. Do I just need to talk to her then? Angela, has anyone else been in here besides you and Henry? Normally this is Henry's private space, but sometimes we, when we, when he has visitors, he brings them in here. Isn't the parlour more comfortable? Oh yes, the study is only for important guests, or when he doesn't want me to overhear. So no one is ever in this room without Henry being here as well, correct? Yes, I don't think guests could have stolen it. Not that we've had many of late. We keep the doors locked at all times, so whoever stole the mask must have come in through the window. You'd have to be pretty nimble to get through a window. Well, that would be... That would fit the master gentleman's style. Again, I can't speak. Yes, I wonder what kind of person would take the mask. A thief. A thief would take it. Uh, well, I ran out of bags while I was litter picking, needed one more from the van to finish the stretch that I was doing, and they basically drove off. When they came round to pick me up, I flipped at them. Well, I would flip at them in tow car, not going to lie. You'd think that if they were going to drive off and then pick you up further down the route or the same place, they would at least tell you about it. Common decency and just being polite sometimes goes a long way from there for them. I don't see you um, being in the wrong at all. Um, do you have any theories, Herschel? Well, I'd hazard that the, the masked gentleman is most likely someone living here in town. He could be an ordinary citizen, hidden behind the facade of an ordinary existence. I told them to finish the stretch I was doing if they did it done. And too right. Like, you could have done it if uh, you could have got what you needed. But... As chance happened, they uh, made your life harder. So, why shouldn't you make their life that bit harder? You think so? And John, let me ask you something. Who in Montador would benefit from the recent turmoil? Who? Why well, can't think of anyone here who would benefit from this madness? Do you know of anyone with a grudge against Henry? Anyone you've had financial disputes with in the past? The only person I can think of who has a grudge against Henry is, well, Dalston. Dalston? <gasps> it's him. Alphonse? Alphonse? Alphonse Dalston, you mean? That name sounds familiar. Um, they wouldn't finish it, so I took my time finishing off. Yeah. If they didn't want to do it... <laughs> You, it's better, better off to waste their time. I forgot to print a shipping label and write a thank you note. I've started selling some stuff. I don't want fire. By the. Macaria? I don't know what that is. Be right back, too. <coughs> no worries, Lee. You do you. Yes, I'm sure. The very same. Dalston was a, a friend of ours in Stansbury. Like, between them, Dalston and Henry own the, own the most <coughs> of the businesses in town. They've been rivals for years. I believe they may have had altercations over the property lines of one or two hotels. Yeah, it's a weird name, but yeah, you can put whatever you want up for sale on it. It sounds like it's very much like the Facebook market sort of um, thing 
or Etsy where you can just put anything up for sale and anyone can go buy it and stuff. There's a lot of those sort of apps. Um, back in tomorrow on the waste side under light duty, so hopefully it won't be too stressful. Fingers crossed for you, Carl, that you have a fairly easy day, stress-free. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Dalston set out to sabotage Henry, you know how he is, Herschel. Yes, I do, but it doesn't seem like him to stage such a theor theatrical display. That word stumped me for a bit. Well, there's also the fact that Dalston has been receiving advanced receiving advanced warnings from the masked gentleman. And he's the only person in Montador besides Henry to have received them. I'd hate to cast aspersions, but isn't it odd that Dawson has such a link to the masked gentleman? That is suspicious, isn't it, Professor? It is rather odd. I think it definitely warrants some investigation. Let's go and talk to him, Professor. If you want to see Dawson, his house is just west of your hotel. Okay, we'll do... The toy robot. We're going to do some mini games and then we're going to end it there because this is probably a good point to stop. Um, it's been two hours, which is what I like to do for Professor Lane's room because it's a lot of talking and I don't want my voice to go too much. Um, oh. Okay, we're gonna reset the stage and we're just gonna Not sure what I'm trying to achieve here to be honest. I know I've got to get onto the red spot. I reckon I've got to get the key and head down. I don't see. I don't see how going that way would help. I need to get onto this red square. So I need to land at this point I need to land here. No, I need to I wanna reset. Do need to go left with the key. I just don't know which way I need to come in.
I'm not sure where I'm going with this at the moment. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get caught, yeah. If I do that. I don't, you can't, you can't match it to get three to come here and then across. So I don't think that square is actually useful at all. So I think it is a matter of breaking this block. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I've got it. Go up, cross, up, go across, we land there, and then down. Easy. After I sort of could figure it out, that is. <laughs> that works for everything. It's only easy once you've uh, figured it out. Um, your online duties it will really be in deliveries or recycling sack deliveries, so it won't be too bad. That's that's fair enough. Um, we've got to do the shop puzzle. How you doing, Kaween? Kiween. I don't know how you want me to pronounce your name or if you have another name to go by. But how are you doing today? Okay, so blue. Um, if we do it from that to that, to red, oh no, that won't work. That won't work. Um... I feel it's got to be this. So it'd go clock to clock to red to red. Uh, I'm guessing it's like a lantern to lantern. Lantern to camera, camera to camera. That's blue to blue. Because it has to be the same object or the same colour. So, two of the same object and then more red stuff on sale. And then lantern to lantern, so same object, and then colour to colour. And then camera to camera. This one was actually easier than the previous one. Uh, let's go back. Do I even bother with the rabbit show? It seems like a, a lot of effort for a mini game. No, no. I think what I'll do with the rabbit show is towards the end, when we're solving everything, like the end episode I'll do, we'll just spend like the very last bit of stream on that episode, just doing everything possible with the rabbit show. Um, we'll, wa we'll watch the last two episodes we've got, and then we'll call it. Hello there, what can I do for you today? We offer all kinds of attire, from fancy dress to uniforms to national costumes. The name's Walton. I should... It should come as no surprise to you that I have a rather a lot of cash at my disposal. I want something majestic, something which says power and influence, like, say, gold cloth trimmed with diamonds. Gold cloth? Oh no, I'm afraid we don't have anything quite so garish here. May I make a suggestion? Huh. It's certainly not my habit to allow others to choose for me, but I'm, if you must. Well, you see that pudding shape and tacky gold tooth of yours do cramp your style somewhat. But we could probably hide a lot of the extra bag inside a mascot suit. How about this cuddly bear costume? 
the baggage? Are you calling me fat? I was referring to your overblown ego, actually. I think a lovable bear costume would mask it quite nicely. I imagine your little boy would have found it very endearing. But you never did spend much time with him, did you? But how do you know that? Hehe, <laughs> very little goes on in this town without Ludmilla. Wait, very little goes on in this town that Ludmilla doesn't know about, Mr. Walton. Now, here's my real suggestion to you. Discard your life of luxury and drop that silly gold cloth and diamond nonsense. Discard my... What would a poor shopkeeper like you know about my life? Money may buy precious metals f for your fillings, Mr. Walton, but it won't soothe headache. Or heartache, was that? Sometimes I just read what I think is there instead of what is there. Uh, this is your chance to change your life and go back to your loved ones. We are in the city of miracles after all. Why? Of all the... Huh. Fine. I'm not wearing that ridiculous bear costume, though. Oh no, I have something even better in mind. Just leave it to Lord Miller. They'll be... They'll barely recognise you. Do we get to see the costume? I guess not. Stray child, stray heart. Step right up, step right up. Soft toys, wind up toys, model toys. Jean Paul's got them all. And they're cheap. Hmm. Oh, hey, hey. Look at all the teddies. Hello, little lady. Are you on your own? Where's your mum and dad? Ah, I think my mum's gone and got lost again. I've been looking for her for ages, but my feet are proper killing. So I'm having a break. Oh, I see. You've lost your mum. Well, not to worry, Jean Paul is here to help. Shall we go find her? Oh, but my mum said not to gun anywhere with strangers. And you're a stranger, mister. So I think uh, if I can go anywhere with you. My mum will be cross, sorry, like, because of the way she speaks or it comes across, sometimes it just gives me. It takes me a little extra time to figure out what she's saying or what she's trying to say so I can say it. Is that so? Well, in that case, you'd better stay here until your mum comes back. You can help me run the stall. Way A. I'm class at playing shut, man. Teddies for sale, cute teddies, soft teddies, fuzzy wuzzy teddies. Aha, you do have a knack for this. How about showing off these robots now? Teddies for sale, teddies for sale, white teddies, brown teddies, pink teddies, blue teddies. Haha, the bears are nice, but what about the other toys? You have to show off the, show these off too. How about this bunny? But I like the teddies. Teddies for sale, teddies for sale. Fluffy teddies with proper silky ears. Hehe, <laughs> well, I can't deny you have the voice for this little lady. You can have a job here when you're older, if you like. Yeah, there's teddies for sale, Shadow. If you didn't know, there's teddies for sale. Eee, Bonnie, there you are. I've been looking all over. 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 V, with a V. How many times do I have to tell you not to gun off on your own? Oh, hiya, Mummy. Teddies or titties? But in the land of miracles, if you want a teddy or a titty, they're for sale. I'm sure they are. You just have to look for them. Hey, pet. I'm really sorry. I hope my little bunny hasn't been bothering you. Uh... I'll take the teddy, please. One teddy coming up. Ha, no worries. This little lady has been helping me at the store. Aye, that's right. I've been looking after all the teddies. She's been a great help. In fact, please accept this cute little bear with my thanks. Stop by whenever you like. Yeah, really? Are you sure that's all right? All right? Absolutely. Your daughter was no trouble at all. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Bonnie, say thank you to the nice man. Thank you. Bye-bye, mister. What a spirited little tyke. She's going up. She's going places, that one. Right, back to work then.
Step right up, step right up. John Paul has toys of every kind. Teddies, robots, teddies, bunnies, and more teddies. See, now he's saying, saying teddies even more. Um, I've got no more. We've got no more episodes. But what we do have is a good save button. Okay. So we'll be ending stream right here. I'd like to thank everyone for coming by, for lurking, for talking, for just being yourself. Because um, for streamers, it's a lot easier to get through stream, and it's a lot nicer to get through stream when there's when uh, people are talking and people are there. I personally don't have um, the view count on, or like the number of how many people are in the chat. Um, but it's just nice to uh, see you all come by. I don't know, I'll probably see you all in maybe Shadow Stream, for example. Or George's stream, or Matt's stream, aka Mr. Rothy. Um, and if you don't already go follow them, I know most of you in here follow the whole like group of community streamers that we're all in. But, yeah, if you, but if you don't, I'm telling you, go check them out. Um, but with that, we will do a nice little raid. I will see if anyone's playing Professor Layton. Even if it's just one of the older ones. Um, but my one thing with this is they have to be an English stream because I don't understand any other language. Um, ow. My foot. Okay. Either that, or I know some Spanish and some sign language. Like I know little bits of French, probably. A lot of the French I do in Georgia Stream is pretty much Google translated. Um, but I could probably guess what some are saying vaguely. I've got a couple of people playing Gears of War three. We could go raid. Um. But the problem is there's three streamers, they're all together playing Gears of War 3. Which one do we go raid? Do we go raid Shin, Chill, or Xylon? Which one? I think I'll pick Xylon this time. I don't know any of these people. I met them through a streamer called Orion Blue, which I found through George. Um, and they're very nice people. They all, they normally play like card games together, um, and they're very chill, and they're very just just nice to sort of lurk streams to lurk in or chat to. Um, they play their all individual stuff, but they, you can normally find them playing Destiny together. Gears of War, for example, together. So it might be worth just going to check them out. Um, I'll send you over to Shin. No, to Zylon, sorry. Shin is one of the others I've raided recently. Um, Zylon. I can't spell, apparently. So go. Uh, Ideally, I'd like everyone to go in the raid, even if you're not going to stick around and you're just, literally just going to hop out straight away. It's just nice to, um... Yeah, I know, I can't speak, I can't spell. Words are hard. But yeah, if you can just jump in the raid, even if you're not going to stick around, it's just nice to give that somewhat, someone else um, a surprise sort of raid. Um, so yeah, even if you have to leave afterwards, that's up to you. Whether you want to stay or leave... But it's just nice to give that someone a little surprise. So yeah, thank you for everyone for being here. And uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming a, an hour earlier, so 7pm UK time. I'll be joining Mr. Rothy aka Matt. And we'll be playing A Way Out. So it's a cut game. Uh, Thursday's Anno, Friday we'll be playing Rogue Heroes. 
Saturday, I think it's Sea of Thieves, and then it's a whole new week because I don't stream Sunday. Um, but maybe I will. I don't know until Sunday comes around. But I'll catch you all next time, and uh, remember to stay awesome, guys.